West Jordan Animal Services says this is a pretty unusual case, one of the worst they've seen when it comes to animal abuse. We do want to warn you that some of the images we're about to show might be hard to look at. Come here. Come here. Hi. She's a playful little ball of fire. She's just a baby. Even the cone of shame <laughs> doesn't slow Shadow's spunk. Oh, yeah, she loves attention. And she's getting a lot of it from her new foster family. Shadow deserves the extra love. It looks even worse in person. After what she suffered. At first it was kind of a shock. Look closely at Shadow's snout. You'll notice it disfigured with scarring all the way around. Left side, it's completely open. Um, even with her mouth closed, you can see into her mouth. It's pretty bad. How did her nose get this way? Because her owner wanted Shadow to be quiet, West Jordan Animal Services says. The owner did admit to putting the hair tie on the puppy. A hair tie, Animal Services says, to keep Shadow's mouth shut so the owner could sleep. The owner said it was on Shadow's mouth for two days, but... The veterinarian believed that that um, hair tie had been on there for longer than the 48 hours that the owner admitted it had been on there. How they even found out about Shadow? The rescue Celestial Zoo found the owner's post on social media asking to rehome Shadow because she couldn't pay for the vet bills. That now former owner, identified in court documents as Alexis Callan of Murray, faces felony torture of a companion animal. So we do see cruelty cases, but this one is more severe than, than most that we see. Celestial Zoo says Shadow will get reconstructive surgery next week. <laughs> Then they'll find this floppy eared, feisty furball a new home. A place to bark all she wants. Good girl. Now, according to the veterinarian at paperwork, Shadow can't eat or drink properly, hence why she needs surgery to fix her snout. But they say in time, in about two weeks after that surgery, she will be able to recover. In West Jordan, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.